Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Laura and this is lesson number 19 of our 30-day technique belly dance. Today you will learn how to do Chanel turn for belly dance. Actually, this is a very important lesson. I suggest to all the dancers, belly dancers, professionals, students, amateurial, it doesn't matter, anyone, everybody has to learn it if wants to dance well, prop. Nowadays it's not possible to dance a choreography with veil, without veil, um, any style without these turns, so it's very important also because the technique is a little bit special. So you have to learn, you have to understand some, some small things that are very important to make it easier. Yes, because most of the dancers, also my students, I see they don't have a good relationship with the Chenet turns. So, ah, my Laura, I feel dizzy, I feel bad, I don't know how to do it, I prefer not to do it. No, why? You just have to learn it in a correct way and you will enjoy uh, doing this type of turns. Actually, this turn comes from ballet. It's not typical of belly dance, but it became typical as in the 30s, in the 40s, with the golden era period. Some choreographers decided to teach this type of turns to the most famous belly dancers of the time, the Egyptian one, um, the one that became famous in movies, in the cinema and so on. So they could, um, um, how to say, they can rock the stage very uh, much uh, stronger as they, thanks to these turns, they can make their dance more spectacular, more choreographic, they can use the space in a more proper way and also they can use also veils and the costumes in a different way. So let's start from the beginning. Schöne turns is a type of turn that need two times in the tempo, in the bar, so we need to split the movement in two times. But to teach it, maybe I will split even in three times. So first of all, the preparation, as if you don't prepare the movement well, it will be almost impossible to do it well. So first of all, the preparation, we put our weight in one leg, in this case it's in my left leg, and you prepare the other one free to start. As this um, turn, it takes uh, two tempo and uh, it will also allow you to move in the space. It's done for this and actually we call it chenet exactly because we will do many one after another and we create a kind of chain of turns and this chain of turns allows us to move in the space. So let's start from um, the position or in the first position. We put our arm here and my right leg exactly with my right arms are ready to start. The most important thing that I have to check my spot, I have to know where I want to go, so I have to look where I want to go. For example, if I want to turn in your direction, I have to prepare my body like this, but in this case I want to go in this direction, so I have to choose my spot well and I have to keep it until the end of the turn. After this what we do? We open with the first step so we change our weight and we open at the same time the leg and the arm but we continue to keep our spot and then in a second tempo we close, change again uh, the weight. We close the leg and the arms and I continue to keep my spot with my eyes. So again, your um, contact, eye contact has to be the most important. So keep your contact and open, close. And your arms open again. And just to learn it, we go again in the first position, the preparation one. When we will be better, when we will do it faster, this position will not be visible as we will enter straight away in the second turn. So again, let's put the weight in one leg. The second one is free to start and we prepare the arms ready for the starting. So one arm and one leg in the same direction and this is the one who will start. I fix my spot and open, close, head again, 
in the spot and, and I do it another one, open, close, and again my head. Of course, I want to try also in the other direction, but first of all, I want to explain you something more that will be very useful for you, especially to close well your turn. As you can see, I'm doing it very slowly. Of course, when we dance, we will do it faster. Uh, but we have to start slowly to understand well what it happens in our body. So, before starting, now let's try to keep our belly button in more than we can, so we can control very well this part. And actually, I have also my legs straight in this case, almost straight, also to control better my pelvis. In this movement, we don't have pelvis uh, movements. We just want to turn. As I told you, this does, this comes from ballet style. So actually, we don't move the pelvis. We just want to turn in the perfect way without feeling lazy, without uh, losing the time and so on. So again, put your shoulder down and move your arm and your feet in the same time. Open, close, and the head. Open close and the head. Let's try in the other direction because normally there is also one direction that comes easier than the other one so we have to turn at the same time both. So let's put our weight in, in this case is our right leg. We prepare the arms exactly in the same way as before so one is in the second position and the other one ready to open so I put it forward with my leg, so I am really ready to start. I choose my spot straight in this direction and I open, close, head. Open, close, head. Open, close, head. I will try a little bit faster, but I want to make you notice the, what's the meaning of the belly button contraction. This helps you so much to control the end of the turn. So it means that maybe I will do a little bit faster and in the last moment I take an extra contraction just to hold my body, not to feel dizzy and to control the end. This is very important. Important to start well, but more important to close it correctly in the time. As we use normally turns, also in choreography, maybe for a close, for a, a, to end our choreography or to start so as to be very precise and very strong. So let's try again. I prepare, I prepare my legs. Remember, it's in two tempos, so every time you finish one turn, you should find yourself always with the same leg, free. So let's start again. Open, close, and open, close, and open, close, and. When I say end, it's just the starting of the second step, of the second turn. Uh, it's not really a tempo because as I told you when we will do it faster for sure um, we will not see even this moment we connect straight away one chenet to another one one turn to another so again I prepare I fix my spot I pull in a little bit my belly bottom and I start open close and open close and open close and always we have to have um we have to open so i open my arms and my leg and i have to close and this is really the moment of the turn so open so i do one step and one in the spot one step and one in the spot and again open in the spot open in the spot um, it's very important that your arms are strong and push much because it's the, the arm is the one who gives the, the energy, the starting to the turn. So sometimes the mistakes is in the arm or the, maybe you don't control much your belly button or your spot. Uh, so these small things really can affect the quality of your turn itself. Um, maybe let's try to do it a little bit faster and maybe we can also connect it. So again, one and two and one 
and two and one and two and change one two and one two and one two and as you can see maybe you notice that my head stayed in the spot until the last moment when it really cannot stay anymore so i fast uh, turn the head and finally is the last thing i turn again open close turn open close and the head open close and the head and again in the other side open close head open close head open close head it's almost impossible that uh, you can really watch and copy and do it in the same time maybe it's better if you watch it first and then you try because while you are doing the turn you have really to check your spot and to and to see yourself feeling uh, concentrate on yourself but we can do something you can do in my direction i will do in yours so let's watch each other one two and one two and one two and i will change direction so i change my weight i prepare the arms in a different way this is just a, a preparation is maybe when you are dancing in the choreography you will not really start from here maybe you are in another position but immediately you prepare before starting the turn i suggest you to do it so again your belly button control very well your uh, body make it longer elegant your neck has to be long and um, be used to smile while you rehearse this uh, this step and this any step actually to um, make your body used to be relaxed especially the face and this part because if you are really contracted in the face you will see towards in the rest of the body there is a connection between the it's the nervous system finally so when you try when you rehearse uh, try to stay relaxed in the expression and maybe just put a small smile just to help this part to relax a bit so again and turn third you see every time i start with my arm open close head open close head when i open i really open my body and when i close my arms are really closed exactly like my legs so you need sometimes to check maybe in the beginning to check any single position of this turn to be sure to, to do it well but of course uh, we need many repetition maybe if you have space do it i don't know 10 one after another without a hurrying really and if you use the spot uh, view as i told you you will not feel daisy at all so let's try to put some rhythm some tempo and i think i will choose a two time um, tempo like fallahi rhythm to rehearse this a little bit more on the music was taking the pose between one turn and another one 
Now, maybe you need to repeat it more and more to feel more comfortable in this type of exercise. And once you catch it, you can try with me now a little bit faster uh, exercise. So we will try not to take the, the preparation, but to go straight away in the turn. I will show you first. So what we will do, we will do open, close, and straight away in the new open without taking this pose. It's very important for this reason, when you do the exercise with the preparation, not to put your weight in this feet, in this foot, otherwise you are not able to start the second one. The foot um, is the back foot who keep the weight because it's only too temporary. I remind you, open, close. So the weight in this moment is in this leg, the back leg, and this one is still free to open again. So let's try to without tempo for a moment, just to, to understand if everything is clear. So open, close, head, open, close, head, open, close, head, and change. And open, close, and open, close, open, close, and change again open close open close open close and i change open close open close open close and i will try with the music with the tempo maybe it will be even a little bit faster let's try don't give up if the first time maybe is not really perfect try and try, go back with the video. You know that you can also uh, play it slower if you want in the, um, if you click in the engine, you can also manage to make the video slower. So maybe sometimes can be helpful. So let's try together. bit fast and especially we didn't have enough space to practice maybe if you have a corridor in your flat or you have a big place to train it is better to do it many but let's try also like this because it can be very useful in a choreo in any type of dance you put these turns sometimes and it's amazing because it gives immediately to your choreography uh, kind of energy richness and also to connect many steps and to use the stage in a more interesting way so please uh, practice much write me please in the comments if you have any questions about this turn or any other steps because maybe i forgot to <laughs> to say something so remind me please it will be a pleasure for me to answer to all of you thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow with another lesson